Welcome back. Uh, in this section, we will look at the 5G core architecture. Uh, specifically, we will look at two ways of visualizing uh, the architecture. Um, and those two ways are the service-based architecture view. And then the other was the point-to-point -point interface uh, based architecture. So this uh, diagram here uh, shows the service-based architecture. So SPA refers to uh, service-based architecture. Um, and this diagram shows the depiction uh, of 5G core elements as uh, depicted as uh, uh, in, in the service-based architecture uh, perspective. And there are a lot of elements here, so don't get uh, overwhelmed. We will go through uh, almost all of them uh, in this course. Um, and I wanted to make this diagram as exhaustive as possible. That's why I added uh, a lot of these uh, network functions. So so one thing uh, to note is like in 4G, we called each um, network element uh, as a network element, like MME was a network element, S gateway was a network element, uh, and so on. In the 5G, we call, uh, there, is, there, there is no concept of network element. Instead, everything is uh, referred to as a network function, so, uh, or NF. Uh, and you will see F uh, used quite frequently in the naming uh, of these uh, network functions. And, uh, and it stands for a function um, in all of these. So as an example, uh, LMF is location management function. Uh, and we will go through all the others, uh, but yeah, just keep in mind right now uh, that in the service-based architecture, you have these different network functions, uh, many of them who interact with each other using APIs or access point interfaces. Uh, so if you recall the microservices-based uh, lecture, uh, that we talked about microservices. Even there, the microservices were talking to each other using APIs. Uh, the same concept holds true here, where if you look at all these uh, network functions here, uh, for the most part, uh, they are interacting each other with each other using uh, APIs. So there is a common uh, communication channel here, and uh, all these network functions are connected. And if if, for example, this network function wants to interact with uh, the AMF, uh, which is access uh, mobility function, uh, they can talk to each other using this uh, common communication channel. And then there are well-defined API, uh, APIs um, that they can use for communication. Now, um, if we start on this uh, picture from the bottom here, so, here we have the uh, radio access network. So we have the UE, uh, we have the NG RAN or the new radio, uh, NR radio. And this NR radio is connected to uh, the AMF here. Uh, and we also have an interface uh, from the UE uh, all the way to the AMF. So the naming here of interfaces is quite different uh, what we are used to. Uh, with 4G. Uh, so it will take some time for you to get familiar with these uh, names. Uh, and the more you stare at this uh, architecture diagram, uh, the more uh, familiar you will become. But uh, don't get overwhelmed right now. It, it is uh, completely natural to uh, not absorb all this information uh, right now. But over time, it will make a lot more sense. Uh, but uh, just keep in mind some basic things. So like you have the NR uh, or the NG RAN. Uh, this is connected to the AMF, which is uh, sort of like the MME uh, we had in uh, 4G. And over there, we had uh, the S1 uh, connection uh, between the 4G LT and the MME. Here, uh, we, we refer to this as N2. So N2 is the interface name. Uh, and then N1 is the interface between uh, the AMF uh, and the UE. So now here, uh, 
since 5G also embraces non-3GPP based access, so like somewhere, say you can access 5G services uh, over Wi-Fi as an example, um, your UE, same UE is connected to the Wi-Fi access point in this case, and then there is a, a, a new a network function, again, uh, recall I'm using the word network function, not a network element, uh, something uh, which is referred to as N3IWF, which stands for Non-3GPP Interworking Function. And this is the gateway into the 5G core. So we have uh, two ways of accessing the 5G core. You obviously have the 3GPP uh, access, and then you have the non-3GPP access. Uh, so for this diagram, the key things to note, uh, let me um, repeat, are we have all these uh, different network functions. Uh, they interact with each other using well-defined APIs. Uh, and then we also have certain interfaces here like N1, N2, uh, N3, uh, N4, and N6. These are not uh, uh, APIs but they are point-to-point -point interfaces. So the API uh, interfaces are mostly related to the internal functions of the uh, core here. Uh, so you can say these are uh, APIs. Um, and then uh, most of these uh, interfaces are point-to-point uh, -point interfaces, okay? So P2P. Uh, and then these are mostly API interfaces. So just keep that in mind. And then as we go through the course, uh, we will talk more about each of these network functions and what they do and how they interact with each other.